Hello guys, my name is Sergey. I'm a freediving instructor trainer and today I'm going to try to answer the question from one of my subscribers, how fast you can progress. So first of all, I don't like the idea in, uh, in a beginner freediver head that you need to depend on the number, that uh, your progress is simply the steps, let's say if you're talking about dynamic bifins, that your progress is based on whether you swim 30 meters or you swim 40 meters or you swim 60 meters. So the whole idea behind freediving training is uh, become a better freediver. And if yesterday you were swimming 40 meters and today by luck you swim 50 meters, it doesn't guarantee that you become a, you became a better freediver, right? So maybe you just push harder a little bit today. Or if you stop at 60 meters today, but tomorrow you just uh, going to again push harder and reach 70, this like this improvement doesn't mean that you're becoming better freediver. What making you better freediver is the improvement in your technique. So if you're a beginner and intermediate freediver, your main priority should be improvement in your technique, not in the numbers, right? So you're thinking about how to improve your technique. And you can ask your safety body to film you and then you can easily see what problems do you have and then you can start thinking how you can improve it. The second concept about the progression in freediving is to not try to progress randomly. Don't think that, okay, today I'm swimming 50, do I need to try 70 tomorrow or do I need to try 80 tomorrow? So this is not how you like are thinking about your progress. There is a, like a whole theory behind periodization so you need to make a blocks and then only when you're reaching the end of this block like a block of time then you can try to do your new personal best and the third concept is of course the bigger your numbers at this moment in static and dynamic or depths the slower your progress should be so let's take an example in dynamic by fins again this is a completely like random numbers take it more as a examples, okay? So I think I more or less understand how to improve in dynamic bifins. My current personal best 170 and I was ready to do 180 before this quarantine starts, before the pool was closed. So I think I more or less understand how to progress in this discipline. So let's say somewhere, if you are somewhere between zero and 30 meters it means you're completely beginner because 30 meters this is what most of the beginners do on their free diving course so how to swim this uh this distance you just need to like your instructor is gonna obviously uh explain you how to do breath hold how to do relaxation breathing etc etc and like on this like on this progression the most important part that you need to figure out your buoyancy based on the your body type based on the wetsuit which you use and as soon as you figure out the buoyancy then this 30 meters is going to be piece of cake and then to progress from 30 meters to about 50 meters you need about a week like again it's a random number some people need five days some people need seven days obviously you can do it faster but i don't recommend you to do it faster than a week or maybe like five days minimum and during this time, during this training, your main focus should be on a better streamlining position. So you need to uh, stop looking forward. You need to be more relaxed in the shoulders. You need to be uh, like taking relaxed, like a body position, etc., etc. So obviously you, you, you need to be sure that your buoyancy is absolutely correct. But now your main focus needs to be on a streamlining position. On this step, you don't need to think about like CO2 training or O2 training or something else. Just make sure that your buoyancy is correct, your streamlining correct, obviously your mindset needs to be correct. And then you're gonna be like within a seven days, you can quite easily reach, let's say 40, 50 meters. So the next step somewhere between 50 and 70 meters, I would like that you're gonna take two, three weeks at least for this progression. So if you already done 50 meters by fins, then I think the minimum amount of time is a two, three weeks. So within a two, three weeks, what your main focus can be is a kicking. So how you kicking? Because again, kicking is not that simple process, even in a bi dynamic by fins when it looks like, okay, you can 
you kick left, right, left, right, right? But there's so many mistakes which freedivers do on this uh, stage. Uh, they not engage uh, their glutes enough. They not engage their hips. Okay, guys, like I said, two, two three weeks is a good time to progress from 50 to 70 meters. So the next step is from 70 to 100 meters. And when you are on this stage, I do recommend to uh, divide your progress and not like jump from 70 meters to 100, but rather to do it like by 10 meters. So for example, from 70, your goal is need to be like 80. And when you reach 80, your goal need to be uh, 90. And then from 90, you can reach 100. So let's say this can be divided uh, by, like divided by three. How long to progress from 70 to 100? In my opinion, from what I see, the good number is about two, three months. Again, as like for everything else, you can do it faster. However, it usually comes with a compromise on your technique. Usually these people who can do it faster, let's say I meet from time to time, free divers who reach 100 meters and they say, oh, I just training for a month or maybe for three weeks. Okay, this is a good number. 100 is always a good number for biofins. But then when I look at their technique, the technique is horrible. So they just pushing as hard as they can. They finish 100 meters, really, really hypoxic. The technique looks horrible. Buoyancy is actually sometimes not correct. Streamlining is not correct at all. Kicking is horrible. But then they are proud that they did 100 meters, which is okay, you can be proud. But I think like on this specific uh, like on this specific progress your technique already need to be correct. So slow down your progress. So again from 70 to 100 I think two three months is a good number, right? You can do it obviously longer or maybe you can do it smaller like in a smaller time But 70 to 100 like usually take two three months What I would concentrate here Obviously, I still want to work on like making sure that my buoyancy is perfect, my streamline as perfect as it can be, my kicking as good as it can be. But now I would put more attention on a CO2 tolerance, all right? So I will start to include more exercise for the CO2 tolerance here because it's gonna be some extra CO2 when you try to swim more than 70 meters. So this is already a solid number. And when someone reach 100 meters in dynamic bifins, in my opinion, it is a, like a beginner intermediate level, right? So now you are not a complete beginner. So because the number is pretty solid and actually it's pretty hard to do. Um, like a lot of people think about this distance as a, as a serious distance. And I agree with this. And then the long journey starts from 100 to 150. So when you progressing with these numbers, you just like, if you want to make it like a safe and efficient, again, you like, I would split it again, your progress by 10 meters. So from 100, you want to progress to 110, to 120, 130, 140, 150. And then for each 10 meters, I would take like three months at least, right? Maybe in the beginning, it can be three months, then maybe after 120, 130, it can be even four, or maybe sometimes even five months. Again, depends on how you feel. For today's videos, we're not gonna talk about how to like plan your training. Like, let me know in comments if you would be interesting to hear uh, what is my thoughts about this, how I plan my training but this is a more like a, of the duration and on what point you can concentrate the most. So here, most of the people find that they have a hard time to tolerate high lactate level in their muscles. Because obviously when you swim more than 100 meters by fins, that it is a, a lot of anaerobic work, a lot of lactate produced and this is a, uh, why you start feeling this burning sensation in your legs, your legs becoming heavier and heavier and heavier. And then this is like, plus you still have a contractions. So this is becoming really hard for a lot of people. And then they just stop their uh, free dive early than they technically can. So guys, this was my thoughts about how fast you can progress. So let's repeat some key points. So first key points is that 
based your progress especially in the beginning on the improvement of the technique not on your desire to reach some number so the desire to reach some number just let's say for example uh, if you have a 50 meter dynamic and you want to do 100 if you have just this desire it's not a plan it's just the road for blackouts right you need to make a plan how to reach it so uh, what i want you to focus on is the technique so the second key point is that uh, make sure you work in the cycles right so in the block times so for example you in the beginning your blocks can be just a few days or maybe a few weeks and later on it can be a few months and also like especially like when you I think when you do like less than 150 in dynamic buy fins I think it makes sense to uh, have a main goal let's say here is a streamlining here is kicking CO2 tolerance and obviously you're still working on everything else but I think it makes sense to have like a main goal on what you're working on again your main goal need to be uh, improve your weakness and let's say if somehow you reach uh, 100 meters but your streamlining still sucks then of course make a uh, streamlining is your priority or let's say you reach 120 and your CO2 tolerance is still not that good so make that priority but I would say this is a quite common priority and before I finish I think what I forget to say of course this progression is going to depend on your previous experience if let's say dynamic is something new for you but you was training like a lot of time in static and your static is crazy good then obviously your progress is going to be faster or if let's say your technique is crazy good because you are a professional swimmer then of course again your progression is going to be faster let's say this is a uh, progression of an average freediver who I'm consider myself uh, this I would say that this was uh, let's say my progression or my idea how to progress okay guys this is it uh, this was video about how fast to progress hopefully you found some useful information here if you did don't forget to click the like button and i will see you next time